Welcome back, boys and girls, to the second game of this final NA weekly one-shot tournament. Fat Chunks versus Gypsy Crew. Gypsy Crew will be on the left-hand side, unlike what it currently says on your screen. Gypsy Crew on the left, and on the right will be Fat Chunks. And already, Gypsy Crew quickly banning out Arachne, and in response, Fat Chunks banning out Sir Cat. Yeah, uh, we're also going to see now Kwong Ban. Once again, he is... <sighs> dragons just don't like to be photographed, which is why you've never seen a picture of a real-life dragon. I assure you they do exist, especially in Wales. They're very common there. You can tweet at uh, Ataraxi and he will tell you that. But um, Vulcan first pick for the Chunks. No, for My the guess chunks. would be on her... Oh, for the Gypsy crew. For the My gypsy guess would be crew. I don't really know who that's going on. Well, it's Gypsy Crew is on the left, Fat Chunks on the right, production having a few issues here. Hashtag blame Brad, guys. Hashtag blame Brad, because it's always his fault. Carly locked yeah. in, though, for Gypsy Crew once again, more than likely in the solo lane now that Thor's been locked in as well, and Anne her alongside him. So a pretty mo a, a pretty similar lineup to what we saw last time coming out from Gypsy Crew. They're still running this solo, Carly. They're not scared to do it at all. No, that's unique, Carly. Because... Fat Chunks oh, yeah, because Fat Chunks on the right. on the right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, anyway. Blame Brad. <laughs> so the Fat Chunks will have Kali, Thorn, on her. The Gypsy Crew will have Vulcan, Shock, and Ymir. And Thor that's support. an interesting reversal. Thor support. Thor support, support you think so? think so? You calling it? I'm calling it Thor I, support. I mean, I mean... Cyclone Spin has done Thor solo. That cannot be a real AMC hover. It's a real AMC. It's a real AMC, however. Somebody, where's Sir Duckbot? Hold on. I got a tweet at him. He loves AMC. I actually really like that composition to go with an AMC, though. I am really... I really like that composition. They've got a lot of defense and a lot of peel available for a Muzan Cobb. Link him up with the Aphrodite, the Ymir as well, Vulcan for the displacement, and then Chak as well. That's a lot of displacement to deal and protect the Amuzan Cobb, which is one of the issues Amuzan Cobb has, is his lack of self-peel. Yeah, but I feel like there's so many ways to catch him on the Chunks lineup. Like, Kali can stick to him, Thor's got an ultimate and the wall, Onher's got so many displacements options in the slow, Agni just has bombs so massive range, and Sylvanas can literally catch him. I mean, I, was, I wasn't saying, like, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. this is going to work, I was saying a Muzum Karp has a good lineup for his team. They've picked for around him, feels. It feels like they picked around him going into this game, that's what it looks like on paper. It just, it, just... it doesn't feel to me like they picked, they... They picked out the AMC team, and the Gypsy Crew lineup is perfect for it. I don't think the Chunks lineup is. I don't think that's what you want to pick AMC into at all. Well, they're the teams on paper right now. Guys, Gypsy Crew on the left-hand side, Fat Chunks on the right. Who do you reckon will win? Type it in chat right now. Maybe you'll win something. Maybe you won't. Maybe I'm just joking and making you type stuff in chat. We'll be right back after the break as these guys load in. Welcome back, boys and girls, to game two of this best of three final in this weekly NA tournament. On your screens is Gypsy Crew versus Fat Chunks. A sample of Fat Chunks 1-0 up after game one. We'll talk about who's playing where and what they're all playing, because at the moment we're going to see Gypsy Crew starting on the bottom side of the map this time around, the left-hand side of your Spectator UI. We're going to see Vetium playing Chuck in the solo lane. Too many apples in mid is Vulcan. Gilara is going to be actually playing Ymir Jungle. Flawless Amuz and Cobb in the duo along Alongside Penny Ember, who's playing Afro Support. Afro Support is such a throwback. I think Pax Prime was where that really came out. Uh, championed by Shadow Q was Zatman. Um, one of the various strategies that have been used to keep Zatman alive. And we'll see how it does with AMC. Hypothetically, the, this is a Chalk ADC. And that's an AMC oh. solo. That's an AMC solo, not a Chalk Afro lane. Oh. Uh, AMC solo against Sylvanas solo, though. I I don't know why you would well, give Cyclone Spin Sylvanas solo. Because I feel like Cyclone Spin's the kind of player that kills you and everyone around you, and Sylvanas is not that. But giving Aurora Thor is a good idea. So I... Everywhere. Yeah. Like, Even Europe is just like, yo, what's going on? It's like, Chuck Afro? A Muzan Cobb solo? So AMC versus Sylvanas is definitely in Sylvanas' favor. 
because yes. Sylvanas can push with the Wisps and also deny the push thanks to the help of Wisps that heal his own minions and deny the damage that the bees would do passively from a Moose and Cobb. Hmm. Oh, Invade on, on the, the left, left hand side, side though. though. Yeah, Good Thor coming play. in, not going to be able to get it, but he is definitely oh, able to duel as Vishwin will lose these auto attacks. Chuck is going to die as AD carry shows up with the Impale and Aurora. Look how he's switching targets to Pinyemba just to keep that afro away they're gonna give it to the what? thor here no they're not ad carry's just missing auto attacks that's what's happening there ad carry was going for the, the kill end, though, they they made the decision Maybe. just to give it to the thor because aurora is looking to snowball with this well the first blood goes over Vettin went back into the pit to pick up that blue buff and that spent the end of his life good invade coming out from aurora in the end meanwhile solo lane Oh, Cyclone Spin does get a kill onto Galara, but Flawless trades it back onto Unique, so both junglers go down here. Meanwhile, left, it looks like Aurora's going to find a kill onto Afro, and it looks like Flawless might get some tower pressure, some pressure onto Cyclone Spin, but Wisps come out and heal him back up once more. Crazy action, very, very fast and frantic over the map. So, one of the most important things for uh, Sylvanas Solo that makes it work is really that Telkine's ring. But up against a physical solo laner like AMC, honestly, I don't feel like that's that good. That said, Wisps could potentially pull Flawless into town, or, um, sorry, the root into grab. But an invade on the left hand side looking for that speed buff. Giliara on that jungle that unit nice will be able to get his speed. It was a nice freeze, but two more players coming in. Unique will be here, and I think this is going to be a lot of deaths for somebody. Penyam is there. Aphrodite and for Ymir, who's going to drop down sooner rather than later. One more attack will do it. No, he's going to get back to tower range. They're not going to chase into him. AD carried now, trying to zone out Chuck and too many apples on that Vulcan. They're going to take away back Harpies as well. And extend this lead. Fat Chunk's going aggressive from the onset. And so far, he's working in their favor. Yeah, I mean, if they just get rolling quick and get Unique going, it's going to be really, really powerful here. But in the middle lane, Hurwind is rotating back in. Too many apples on this Vulcan. Not the biggest threat just yet. And uh, speaking of big threats, Aurora pushing Kmenimba out and back. Aphrodite, honestly, is a pretty bad lane matchup against Thor. It has always been hard for her to deal with. I mean, realistically, it's Chuck and Afro. Chuck could 2v1 this lane if he played it correctly. In this matchup, mm -hmm. he could just sit there on the tower farm with the axe. But having the Afro there is just that extra support that transitions well into late game. In the jungle, they're going to have a Ymir who can still go for that hog too. But Aurora going aggressive once again onto Aphrodite. Has to use the back off, but there's a big pillar. The kiss was good, but the Berserker Barrage is better. Really lowering both of them down. And Vettian took a lot of poke tanking up to keep Afro alive. Once again, Fat Chunk's in control of this lane. And that's honestly really good afro play there is the only thing that kept Penyam alive i mean maybe he could have saved his kiss a little longer but the auto attacks from thor were getting to be really scary it's just it's not a fun matchup and aurora is going to apply a lot of pressure there's some burst but ad carried is level five and if he gets enough mana for his desert fury anytime soon we could see a kill that said he's only at 50 mana and he needs 80. Checking into the solo lane as the mid camps have spawned, taken down by left hand, sorry, on the left hand side by the chunks. Cyclone Spin continue to push this lane, him and Moose and Cobb trading backwards and forwards in this one. Both got a kill to the name thanks to both of them killing the enemy junglers in this one. But no one's going to be able to outpush the other. I feel it's going to be a pretty much stale matchup for now. Wait to see what happens when items come online. You may as give an opportunity on the left hand side, there's no wards here. But Unique's coming around at the same time, we may see a fight break out. Well, that's possible. Unique is level 6, but Yemma getting it versus down really low. They're giving the kill to Unique this time, who is frozen. It's not going to dissuade him too much. Now, Giliara should be the next target. Vulcan ult going to connect Vulcan Unique and good. forces him out of the fight completely. He's not too... Oh, my God! Through the wall. Too many apples with a beautiful shot. Unique taken down and not really respecting the range on that Vulcan. One for one trade over there because Afro did die for that one as well as Unique paid off with his life too. Crazy engage between the two. I would love to play from AD Carry coming out there. He actually waited for Afro to come all the way in, then ulted her in the face like, you're level four, there's no way you're avoiding this damage. There's uh, yeah. nothing you can do to stop me. And that just forced the fight immediately from there. It really did and Unique honestly just kind of lazy backed and got punished for it. It happens to everyone. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you in the finals of a tournament because it's not a good feeling. Unique is still level 6. He's farming pretty well and it's not going to set him back too much. Oh, 
Chuck just gone back to base right now, picked up Heartseeker across the way, his solo lane teammate Amuzan Cobb is working on Transcendence now as he takes down the blue buff. Transcendence is one of those items that will help out Amuzan Cobb to deal a lot more damage. Obviously, he's very mana heavy in terms of how much his abilities can cost him throughout the game. Obviously, you know, Swarm does quite a lot of damage, but it costs a lot of mana too. Yeah, and I mean, just having that blue buff and the Transcendence will allow him to clear super easily all the time which is very handy cyclone spin has a little bit of lane control and is going to try and take advantage of it but he's not really in the position he wants to get a kill in the left hand lane 80 carry is fighting up against the chalk chalk in not the best spot here though and will drop down to about half health thanks to the extra damage from Aurora, who is here currently Ymir, 3 and oh yeah ymir on the backside and 80 carry needs to find a way out he's not gonna have too much luck here Desert Fury does get popped, he has to leap away, but he's going to leap straight to a Ymir, who's going to freeze him in the face, and then Vettiv's going to pick up the killer rock and only stand and watch. Meanwhile, in the jungle, they did steal away the speed buff, but Contumian Apples make something happen. His ultimate does not connect, Unique is surrounded by three members, going to jump away. Aurora's still there, going to meet a wall, going to jump through his hammer, and now you're going to see Horiwin trade back with damage as Aurora takes to the sky. He's going to come back down, finds Giliara and getting very low. Great after ult, but the DOT will result in the kill going once again to Unique, now sending it two and two. The Thorwall not perfect, not what they needed to find any backup kills, but they're going to get both mid camps, and that is more than you can ask for. Well, 2.4k experience lead, 1600 gold lead before these mid camps are even taken, and right now they will both go in favor of the fat chunks as well. So that's working out nicely for them. Cyclone Spin on the Sylvanas, continue to push in this lane, working on his shoes, still more than likely going to be shoes of the Medjai in this lane matchup. What will you see him transition into next? Will it be Demonic Grip? Your right I the Sylvanas? Yeah, was it Demonic Grip or uh, Telkans? Telkans, that's the one. My. I honestly, I feel like if he's not rushing, he's not going to go it. Uh, one of the reasons that Telkans solo works on Sylvanas is because you're generally up against a mage, so you get magic protection and Eek. great put. Oh, middle lane, that's going to be a kill. Too many apples going down. Ooh, or the is DOT, it? it might not or happen. Is it? The DOT, gonna... not enough. Oh. Seventeen health and unique didn't have any mana. That's what happens when you don't have mana. You get hit by a frost breath in tower range and you go poof. And the Vulcan survives with his one leg. It kept him alive long enough to hobble away thanks to the help of Ymir. A nice play from Ymir, honestly, more than anything else. Vulcan did a yeah, good job of just surviving. He was in the right place at the right time, for sure, and take perfect advantage of it. Uh, Pinyemba sitting in the jungle. Not really that sneaky when there's a big pink link going across the lane. Lots of damage into Giliara here. But they're not going to be able to get Hurlwind out as he dashed into a Ymiral. Not a good plan. And that's one thing that you always underestimate is how much damage Ymir does, especially if he does build for damage, because 150% of your magical power is how much challenge with shards of ice. So it does do a lot. They're not going to have it available for this, though. They're trying to burst it down as quick as they can. AD carry coming around the Desert Fury. The big dunk coming out from Getty as well, trying to force off. The ult comes down, and Gypsy Crew do take it. But what, what cost? Because Unique's here. Yeah, Unique is here, jumping onto Penyemba with the Disperse, and might be fast enough. No, juking Jukes. back. That's the result of a kill. Nice Impale will secure that one. That's a two for one plus Gold Fury on the right hand oh, side. Flawless. Flawless is going to find a kill onto Cyclone Spin, making this game in total, even in gold, with a thousand experience in favor of the chunks. That was a really close fight between that Sylvanas and Mamuz and Cobb, but goes in Mamuz and Cobb's favor. We know he's an amazing boxer 1v1. We expect him to outbox people, but against Sylvanas in the early stages, he should have pushed a little bit harder than uh, I expected Cyclone to do. I expected Cyclone to push a little bit more. Yeah, it's just hard because AMC and Sylvanas are both so good at pushing. And looks like we're going to see a Book of Thoth coming out of Cyclone, which is a little strange because the scalings on Sylvanas, not really that great. He's not the easiest to stack with either. Let's be honest, he's not the easiest god to try and get the stacks with. He's using yeah. his, his auto attacks really to clear and the wisps, but get, guaranteeing those last hits a little bit more difficult than you can imagine. So we'll see how it pays off for him though, because at the moment we can see Fat Chunks invading onto the right hand side of the jungle, pre ward in this red buff, ready for when it comes available. Mid camps up in about 20 left seconds side. time is too many apples, takes a lot of poke. Left hand side, they're looking for AD carried. Yeah, AD carried did drop his blue, but he was not able to pick it up in time, and it likely will just rot over there as it's uh, being defended fairly heavily by Gypsy Crew. They're going to back off, and AD carried 
is just going to be able to go snag that one. But Aurora and Herwin could be in trouble. Aurora is going to... Actually, Herwin's going to get silenced out. Able to dash away. Up in the air is Thor. And Unique is going to create a potential follow-up if Aurora lands in the right spot. There's the hit. Good he needs Rubin secures the kill. Aurora able to teleport out just in time. Unique up against Vulcan. Does have his ultimate available. And he's just going to back off. But does well, it coming in looking for Bishium. He's going to find it as well with that last auto attack coming down. Too many apples. He's caught between a rock, a hard place, a wall, a tree. And now all that stands there is flawless. What can he do with this Amusa Cobb? Well, leap of the wall from Eddie Carey. Pell does not find him. The pill is going to slow him down a little bit. He's boxing backwards and forwards. At the moment, oh. that pull was huge. And that is a dead flawless. And another pick up for Fat Chunks. Big fight for them. Huge in fact. They should be able to get a tower out of this one, I feel. And here's the thing that people always forget. I, I can guarantee that Flawless's thought process there was, well, Sylvanas won't be able to pull me because that skill shot's too hard. But when you root people first, that skill shot is not that hard. They are stuck standing still. Easy pull, great play coming out from Cyclone Spin, and a speed invade as well from Unique. He loves stealing speed buffs. Didn't manage to find it though, and now Yumi is going to continue the chase onto Aurora, who's out of mana. Good decision there, followed by the kiss, a lot of damage. There goes the kill. Aphrodite gets up with the doves. Back up onto Unique. Unique Central has to leap away. Luckily, AD Carry's going to be there with that pillar to try and slow them down. Impale was not connected, but it did enough to allow Unique to escape one more time. Meanwhile, right inside Cyclone Spin, split pushing to victory. Split push Sylvanas. Ladies and gentlemen, try it out in your games. We'll see how fast you get towers. And this is where you say in North American ranked, right? In North American ranked games, yes. Okay, yeah. In EU ranked games, that's not allowed. It's actually banned. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, BM. Oh, he's, he's, he's very good. In the jungle, he was looking at the store, and he's going to play pay for it with his life. Three, four, and five, and most of Unique's death this game have just been inattentiveness, really. Well, Ryan Sab, we're going to see a collapse onto Cyclone Spin. We can see Ymir attacking the tower up for his team. He's already popped the Wisps. He's going to use his ultimate to try and get himself out of dodge. Good route coming out, but he's got hit by the kiss straight after the back off. And Flawless brings him down for the kill. Here comes Aurora in, though, but he's surrounded by four members. And now it might be his turn to meet the party wagon. But Hurry Wind is there. Great stun on him. Flawless is in trouble now. He's very, very low. The wall's not going to do much to really buy him time, but there's no more follow up available. Now, on the left hand side, it is uh, on her versus. Ch oh! Double tap. All right, not going to connect. The helpful. heal up from Aphrodite is fine. It it was in the area, but yeah, that was pretty far off. And it's just going to be a disengage over there. We set to 12 right now in terms of kills. Fat Chuck still have the lead in terms of gold. Only 1,200 though now. The really closest deficit have Gypsy. The experience lead is 2.8k right now in terms of experience. Gold Fury back up in 30 seconds. I think this next Gold Fury is very important for Gypsy Gaming here. They need this one to really get this back onto complete even terms. The other thing I want to mention is this Chuck is going heart secure into pen boots, right? But up against a Kali who already has chin size online, a Chuck without defensive items oh, is basically it. defensive. Oh, wow. Give me yeah, he got stuck, and Unique is going to find that kill nice and easy. It actually goes over to 80 carried, but either way, it's a dead Ymir. It's gold for the Chunks, and they've got a gold for you respawning in five seconds. Five seconds indeed, Aurora already in position. Flawless is still trying to keep Cyclone Spin busy in this solo lane. Vulcan and Afro, the only ones really here to defend it, and Unique gonna pass some free poke damage over the wall. Goffy been started by AD carried already. Chuck's not in the area just yet, he's on his way in. How quickly will this go down? Quick indeed, here comes a Vulcan ultimate. What's he gonna do? Just a little bit of damage, not too much. The meatball Aurora's in trouble here. Aurora's able to get it, and now Vishium getting targeted down. That Aurora didn't even die. He was able to ult up, and, uh, well, too many apples with the wow. complete outplay there. We'll be able to just walk off, saunter off, really. After, In the jungle, Cyclone going to get chased down by Flawless. Oh. Flawless chasing with the honey as well. The Silicon is because too many apples does manage to find his demise to hurry win. Now only Ymir in the jungle floor is going to back away from that engagement in the solo. But Godfrey went to Fat Chunks once again. They're waiting, debating around the corner for Ymir here. They're going to find him. They saw him with a ward. Uh, I think they're going to just him. pop sprint. Ymir's chasing. Where's your man chasing to? He? Eh? I behind don't you. Know. Man, behind you. Behind you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> behind you. He's like the worst feeling in the world. The leap over the wall. Oh, oh no. the impale. He's going to live. He's going to live forever. He's, He's actually possibly going to die. Poor Gilara. That was There's so nothing worse than not knowing someone's behind you until the very That's last the second. best thing about Smite, though. That you can literally walk up behind there people. Is it no is so game. fun. It is. So, I'm just so stand fun. there and like, well, what, sh what should we do? I'll use make yeah. it rain. 
What's that noise? Okay, Unique could be in trouble here. Afro and Shark hanging around the area. He carried out. Oh, gonna get a nice tail off onto Afro, who uses a lot of defensively, plus the dust, plus the back off. But still, Unique brings him down. Vetti, I'm gonna take some more poke as he walks back to the tower, chuckling to himself at the demise of his teammate. Now they're gonna lose speed buff one more time. And the Vulcan ultimate not gonna connect today. Bought too many apples. He's gonna live for now. I don't, I don't really know what's funny about that. On the, in the solo lane, you got Cyclone Spin sitting at about 400 health out of 2,000, with uh, Flawless 22 sitting at about 400 health out of rounding up 2,000. Vishim getting aggressive onto 80, carried, slowing him down, starting to find a few hits, but the pillar is going to slow Vishim as well. 80 carried, he's waiting for the sound of, all right, the wall, that's going to be enough. And he's gonna impale, and uh, looks like that's not gonna be any kills for Giliara. But here comes Heroin, who doesn't really have enough damage to do anything about this, and he kind of just needs to dip. Went had to use his beads there. Got a bit overconfident in that position. Gonna do a bit of poke damage, but that's all she wrote. Me on the right side, flawless. Did go down on that MC. Oh, Raw got a nice gank off with the help of Cyclone Spin, his lane opponent, to pick up a kill in mid lane. Unique's gonna get collapsed on by two members here, or is it the other way around? That's the question. Well, it looks like Unique's gonna try and make good work of this. Afro's in a lot of trouble here getting chucked down unique jumps away before the fight continues any further we will be taken by the oh. left other side oh oh there's an all of them oh, nice beats nice beats nice good wall from giliara but aurora might be able to clean this one up he does have minus food so not that much damage going uh death toll minus sov but uh still very close and now mid games full they will actually go the way of gypsy crew who uh unfortunately for aurora had more damage to kill the camp in the left-hand lane, 80 carried is farming very nicely, sitting at level 14, able to get aggressive on this shock, but uh, I don't know if his aggression is going to be really working out for him. Well, there's no. a big rotation no, totally point out as well from Too Many Apples. Going to hit that ultimate onto him as well. He becomes got to watch the position. Meatball not going to find his way. The pillar actually bought a little bit of time, but the back off and the doves will do enough damage. Hurrywind might be able to trade back onto Too Many Apples, though. Aurora just trying to wait for his cooldown to get the opportunity to go back in on this. Wall comes out, can't find the damage, and now Hurrywind back it up with low amount of low on abilities. Aurora's the one in trouble. There is Pinyemba uh, here, and Heroin doesn't really have that much mana. He will not be able to dash now, but knocked directly into a Ymir will fall. Aurora should be able to get out just because he is right -hand side, very, very slippery. He's trading with Cyclone Spin, but Unique's around the back, and he's not seeing him yet. He will now as he gets chopped to pieces from behind. The bee has no standing for four swords to the back of the head. I think it's really more two swords, a spear, and a light. Weapons. A lamp. Four weapons. A lamp. It's a lamp. Do you remember when it used to be a head? It's a headlamp. Do you remember when it used to be a head? It was so much better. Oh, is, is it a lamp now? I think it's a lamp now. It's incense. Yeah, it is a lamp. It is it's a lamp. It's incense now. But 13 to 21, the game's kind of gone a bit crazy. Crap. It was crazy with the picks. It was crazy with the positions these picks went into. But then it got crazy in terms of everybody's kind of having fun with the game now. It's still Fat Chunks' game. They're an advantage. It doesn't look like Gypsy are going to give up. They're in a good position. They've done really well for themselves this tournament. They've just come up against a pro team and had a few difficulties with it, but they've not out underperformed, I'd say, by any stretch of the imagination. Well, I could make a few arguments about Doom Orb support Aphrodite. If in doubt, Doom Orb. Do more with it. NAQ by Doomob, guys. NAQ by <laughs> Doomob. That's what we're learning today. Go ahead and give it a go in your NA ranked games. Cret will love you for it, especially if I you're will. on his team. Yeah, no, I, I'll totally love it, especially if you're on Wolfie's team. Especially. Anyway, Pinyemba rolling around in the jungle does want to get a few more stacks, but linking up to too many apples, which has been perhaps the most successful combination for Gypsy Crew in this game so far. Aurora's going to go up in the air, doesn't want to deal with this burst, or maybe he does want to re-engage Pinyemba, immuting some damage. AD carried is going to be able to pick up the kill, stealing that one out from right under the Kali. Hopefully it wasn't unique tar Unique's target. I don't think it was, and Unique, this is pretty greedy, and he's going to have to speed. run away. Yeah, he is, but there's not a lot they can do. There's four men here. The wall going to force out the jump. It was a nice stun coming out from Horrywind, though, using that combustion to his advantage with the Noxus Fumes. They're going to try and pull the Gold Fury and bring this one down, but Ymir is here, and what can he do? Well, nuclear explosion is required to try and keep his team around, but he gets impaled, and he's taking a lot of damage. He's going to blow up before the nuclear explosion could do anything. Unique's barely alive. Flawless finds a kill with the double. He's not going to get a triple, though, as AD carry denies that, and now Betim gets pulled back in to his utmost certain doom. 
Yeah, Betty, I'm gonna go down. And yeah, important to mention, often glossed over is on her passive on his auto attacks. He applies 15 uh, physical protection reduction. When you combine that with Executioner, so Executioner takes off, what is it? It's 24%, and then it takes off 15 from on her, and uh, flat 15, and then a flat 16 or 18 from on her yet again. Or from the Executioner. I don't know. Afro's gonna die though. It's okay, she's got Doom Mob, guys. She's got Doom Mob. She'll be okay. She actually misses the pull because of the Doom Mob. Gonna turn around Kiss and throw the doves out as well. She's doing a good job of juking away with the back off. The root lands though. The, oh, the auto attack from Cycle Spin. The whisk damage is gonna be enough to bring him down. Doom Mob stacks on cooldown and Hurrywind manages to get away from that Vulcan element just in time. But Yamir is back as well. Cyclone Spin contesting. I guess the speed buff, just gonna walk away realizing there's not much more he can do. His auto attacks are starting to hit pretty hard. 120 AoE damage is really nice. Aurora on his way over. Hurrowind. Hurrowind. I think he's gonna call that one baiting. And yeah, we'll turn around with some nice damage. Uh -huh, and yeah, now it's totally Ymir, right who got baited into a totally pile, works. into a unique, and now we're gonna see too many apples. Well, he's in trouble. Yeah, not enough apples there. Vichy him on his way out, but he is not tanky up against this fat chunk lineup. Impaled to wall, taken down by Cyclone Spin, who is currently sitting 5-2-5 five, and five on that Sylvanas. Did give up his second tier tower for it, but uh, Heroin will be able to defend, and the chunks will be able to push on this left-hand side. Yep, gonna push the tier 1 tower. They should be able to get a tier 2 as well before the respawns do hit. Afro in mid lane, Fall is still on the right hand side. Being defended by Hurrywind right now, so these three members should be able to get a tier 2 tower on this left hand side before anyone can get over here to defend right now. It's pretty much Fat Chunk's game to throw right about now. Yeah, it is. They are up a substantial amount of golden experience. Hurwin did die in a 1v1 up against Flawless 22, who played that MC very well, but I don't see him Cyclone. getting out of this Sylvanas. Blinking in. Wisps, Rue. Didn't even use the ult. Didn't even yeah, use the ult. Kill. But now, here comes Afro. Level 14 with Doom Orb and seven stacks online. The dove damage does work. The pull does not connect. And now she's going to bounce away. Or is she? Really more of a hover, but with the Lash connecting, Unique's starting to get pretty close. That's the stun. He's going to get position in front. Look at the burst, and this will be a kill. Pinyama taken down yet again on Aphrodite. Too many apples in the jungle. Trying to deal with a roar, the support, but this support has plenty of damage at his disposal. Too many apples will die with the rotation in from Unique once they hit an auto attack. Okay, they oh, did. Great wall from Yamir, but a great wall from Aurora as well. And then a frost breath, but too many apples still standing strong. Cider in the house. Aurora's gonna live with one HP. Is he gonna dunk on too many apples? I would dunk. I would dunk. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. Do oh, it. Yes, do it. Do it. Oh, he missed. He missed. He got baited. Too many apples beats in Aurora to his death under the tower with the backfire. Deleted. Now AD Carried's gonna find Betty in mid lane. Impale into the wall, not into his pillar. He chose the other option, it was cooler. Gonna get a silence out from Betty, but he's getting hurt really badly. And there's a Desert Fury that is just there for show more than if it was like a fireworks display. On the backside though, Ymir gets caught out of position. And he's gonna go down. And the middle lane now, it's AD Carried up against a proper ADC. Flawless is not gonna have the best of luck trading with him and uh, will be We'll be backing off a little bit to heal up with his friendly neighborhood Aphrodite. Cyclone Spin does not have his ultimate online. Unique's diving the tower, but he didn't have his ultimate up, so I'm not really sure what his plan was. Taken down right quick. Medium running around in the back line. Cyclone Spin misses a grab. Penyemba gonna need to use that ultimate to stay alive. Yep, gonna use it to stay alive. Carry taking a lot of damage from the towers as well. Gonna jump away. After using the beats to escape the stinger from Flawless. Flawless on the front line though. He's going to get eaten up by Horiwin. He does a lot of damage back. But Horiwin goes down to the Aphrodite. As does Flawless go down to AD Carried. Vettiem is going to go down to Cyclone Spins. All attack damage plus the Wisps. And now Afro with those five stacks of glory. Can she stand for them? Yes. Yes, yes she, she can. can. Yes she can. Never underestimate oh, the power blink. of a Doom Orb. As Cyclone blinks in, gets some Wisp damage off Pennsylvania. Still going to live for now. The wall comes out, the wall comes out, and that's a disengage. I think they want this Afro. Oh, Ross going in again. Here we go. Are they going for the Afro? Is he doesn't Afro? No, they're going no. for Ymir. I don't think they have enough damage to kill Ymir. This could it's hurt. It's a support and a guardian. 
Oh, here they we go can again. definitely kill Afro though. Cap rating very low. Cap we can curse coming Cap out with the DOT cyclist. Oh, will pick up the kill, but he's going to give his life up for it. Now Aurora does have his hammer back up. Needs to get out with a tectonic rift. He's going to seal off any movement potential and just walk away. I'm eventually. walking away from the troubles in my life. I'm walking away. Okay, he jumped. He jumped eventually. And now where's he going to jump to? Oh, oh, this is me. This is me. That's oh, just, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's just me. Betium is in trouble now. He's trying to use the speed buff for protections. But Almost I'm protection. going to give all the backfire. But the leap in is going to be able to bring down that. Unique's going to turn his attention onto too many apples. Who's on cooldown for a minute? Backfire comes out. Flawless turns up with the bees as well. The double tap from a raw secures too many apples. And Unique's going to find the kill with destruction. That was a beautiful wall just to sort of trap everyone in with Unique, who turns out does have enough damage to kill a Vulcan and an AMC in four seconds. If in doubt, guys, if in doubt, buy Doom Orb on supports in your North American ranked games, and then sell it for a Kronos Pendant. We are learning and evolving today with this game. That's what I would do. Of course you would, crap. Yeah. Of course. Unicorn you Aphrodite. You don't, even, you don't even, Unicorn Aphrodite. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> no. Okay. Unicorn oh, build no. on Afro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get a chin size. Yeah. work wonders. Top round half. He's been taken down by Unique. Now he is level 20. He's 39 to 21. He's 25 minutes in this game. 10,000 gold lead. 19,000 experience on the side of Fat Chunks. Will they look for the Fire Giant? It looks like that's where they're heading to next. What can the Gypsy crew do to stop it? Oh, man. I think it comes down to finding the perfect Vulcan ult. If they can find the perfect Vulcan ult, they might be able to stop it. But around the backside is Eddie Carrot. He's looking for the Aphrodite. Not going to find enforced back by Vulcan. Giliara will fall to Aurora there. And with the help of Heroin, that's an important pickup. Eddie Carried backing off. And... Um, Unique in the left hand lane, split push Kali. Here we go, the fire giant's been started. Our throws in the area. It has his Vulcan. Vulcan has the ultimate. Vulcan's ultimate is going in from downtown. It doesn't find anything. It was air. It was uh, Cyclops spin fight something though with too many apples. And now they're turning their attention once again to this Aphrodite. But Flawless takes out AD carry before he can do anything. Afro doing a good job of staying linked and trying to juke out abilities, but Aurora's in the sky. He's gonna dunk down and he's probably gonna be an Afro's head. And he's actually looking for Flawless here, just trying to keep him zoned out. Surrender Vote has started, so that may or may not go through. Unique with the speed buff jumping in. He's going to actually look for the Chalk because he feels he can take that out a little bit quicker, but not quite able to stick on their target. Left clicking a little too hard. Flawless nearly picking up Unique, but not quite connecting the way he needed to. That should be a fire turn. Should be a fire giant indeed, but Cyclone going to rotate to mid lane. Horuin still split pushing this right hand side. Aurora is there with that Hog 3 available to assist Unique taking down this fire giant. Well, it's going to be hard as they don't actually have their hunter there. He is still dead. Oh wow, the damage from Horuin onto Giliara forcing Ymir back. And it looks like Kali and Thor... Maybe eventually the fight of their kill lives. the fire giant. The fight it's... of their lives. Lava comes up next. Cyclops oh, Unique though. is healing up a lot. Yeah, he, he'll be okay. That life steal from the lash, man. It is so surprising. It really does help you out. 43 to 22. 27 minutes in this game. One tier two tower remaining for Gypsy. Team Gypsy to hold on to, as well as their three Phoenixes. Fat Chunks go back to buy, hopefully for the last time, and look to close out this game. Let's talk about itemization. Is there anything of interest in the items right now, Craig, that you've seen today? Which team are we looking at? Whichever team you so prefer to choose, sir. I think it's an interesting decision from Aurora to go Warriors Bane rank 2 instead of Jodens, and then into a Shifter Shield. I feel like the CDR might have been better, but Warriors Bane rank 2 is... Or, sorry, Titans Bane rank 2, which is Warriors Bane. Is honestly a really nice item. That's Too many apples. Taking a lot of poke in mid from a raw. But he's forced out the ultimate and the beads as well. He's taking a lot of poke. He's actually forcing everything on him. And meanwhile, Afro gets cut down within an inch of his life, if not his life. Too unique. Eddie Carry grouping up. Round the back, though, comes Cyclone Spin. I expect him to dive in. And he certainly will. Diving in, Flaw 22, very low in the wisp. Will secure that kill. 
Vichium on his way out. The Lash connects the dots. They are enough to find that kill as well. Mid tower likely will fall, going on to mid Phoenix and possibly the game. Unless this Vulcan all is somehow perfect. It does not kill everyone. It does force out a very late shell, but too many apples. Oh. Only too much to handle. Unique starts to cut down your mayor in his own base right now. Doesn't find the fist of the gods as unique. A Ross trying to steal the kill. A Ross steals the kill. He tried to stop the wall. The wall did, was not required. Just the double tap. The fire. Sorry, the Titan is falling slowly, and they're farming kills in the base. Poor Aphrodite. Rip. 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 She will be remembered. She will indeed be remembered by the team Gypsy. Gypsy did a great performance coming out of here. They had a pretty tough bracket. They came out on top, beat some very big teams in all fairness to get themselves in the final against Fat Chunks and put on a really good, fun performance for us to watch today. However, today's victory, today's spoils of war will go to the Fat Chunks. They did a great job of reaching here, beating out teams like 5AM, who defeated Dignitas earlier on. GG to all involved. This was the end of the NA one, correct? Tomorrow, we'll be back once again again with EU that'll be brought to you once again I believe it's going to be about 2 p.m. 3 p.m. CEST I believe and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you are tuning in Pick from time. the North American continent what did you say fake time fake time fake I thought time. you said fake time and I was about to be offended but fake time sure I'll give that okay. to you whatever that's good well guys that's the end of, from Oz Thanks to all the players for tuning for turning up for the for the viewers for tuning in. Turn up from everybody here in production, me, Cret, Moji, and Hyrule Studios. It's been a blast. We'll see you all once again tomorrow, bright and early for you guys in North America.